Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to activate 3D Touch Cursor. But obviously it won't be called 3D Touch, it will be Haptic Touch Cursor. I guess you can say that. So what I mean by that is, for example, you're writing something. So if I just do, hello, yes, we do not a... So for example, you've done something, but now you've made a mistake. So all you do is hold on to here and you've got your cursor so as you can see it's moving so if I wanted to change not so there you go so much easier and then put have there you go hold it 3d touch change something else there you go so obviously with the newer phone so the iPhone 11 Pro or the iPhone 11 um, you don't have 3d touch so if I was going to do the same thing let's do hello how's your week been how's everything doing so something along them lines. Now if I wanted to change something, I hold it, but there's no 3D touch. So normally what I'll have to do here is tap somewhere and then move the cursor. Sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes it doesn't even go to the right place. Okay, so for some reason the video is actually doing it fine because I've had I've had some times when it would go to the wrong places where I needed the sm like the smallest place but for some reason this one is working um, but sometimes it's not as easy you would prefer the 3D touch especially if you're used to on the iPhone X or the XS so literally hold it and you've got your cursor you can change it so if you want to do the same thing you don't have to go on settings you don't have to do anything all you got to do is literally um, so as you can see, no 3D touch, it doesn't do it, it's just the swiping at the moment. So what you do is hold space and now you've got your cursor back. Simple as that, so if I wanted to change doing, so there you go, and then put coming or something. And then hold space again, 3D touch, there you go, you can change, I don't know, so if you wanted to put, remove that, there you go, hold space again. So I'll just do that again. So hold space, and now you've got your cursor back. So if anybody who's been missing this, there you go. Simple as that. You don't have to do anything. There's nothing to turn on. It's literally just a standard keyboard, Apple keyboard, hold space, and you've got it. So you don't have to download any apps, because if you like the Apple ones, you've got that. Plus now you've got your basically like 3D touch cursor, but it's haptic touch cursor. And there you go is easy and I just want to show you guys something like that so if you guys were missing this feature you can now do that so now 3d touch go there and then change it back to that so hopefully this guy this video helps you guys out I was especially I wanted to find something like this because obviously I didn't know about the iPhone 11 not having um, 3d well it had, I knew I never had 3d touch but the cursor but now the fact that it has the cursor I really like it and it is just useful. I love the cursor. It's a feature that I've always used on my phone, and I missed it on this one. So now that I knew, I thought I wanted to share it, guys. Uh, well, share it with you guys. So if you're in the same position where I missed it as well, so you guys might be missing it. So I thought I'd just show a video for you guys. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Thank you for liking and sharing. Please subscribe to the channel.